So I recently found this field box and it's literally a blank canvas, all just blank wood. It's super dry, so I'm actually just squirting it down with water so that I can just make sure that my paint's gonna move. And then I'm grabbing my Paint Pixie Marshmallow and my Paint Pixie Violet Lemonade. Those are the only two colors I'm going to use. And then I'm using a flat brush and I'm just gonna blend these two colors together. So what ends up happening is that you create a whole bunch of this pink value, right, from light to dark or, you know, light to bright. And um, it really creates interest and helps your eye move around the piece. I really like how it looks, so I am going to use Paint Pixie's Force Field. This is actually rated for outdoors, so if I ever wanna take this field case outside and I'm working on something and it starts raining, I know that this is not going to get ruined because the Force Field is a really, really strong outdoor um, sealant top coat. So I love a synthetic brush because it holds so much moisture, so I don't have to use you know, a ton of the force field, the synthetic brush really helps to smooth it out. And so um, it's looking pretty good.
So I am grabbing the Daisy Wildflowers 12 by 24 stencil. I love this stencil and I love using fiber paste. So that is what I'm putting through the stencil. You can see that I'm putting a nice thick amount inside the open areas and then you'll see me kind of scrape it off too. I'm trying to recuperate some of the paste so that it spreads and also you know these pastes and things are expensive so you want to kind of recuperate as much as you can off of your stencil. So I'm just going to continue to do that. I love this fiber paste. Um, it does dry really quick, especially if you put it on in a thin layer. I mean, I love that so much. Because I put the fiber paste on in such a thin layer, I actually was able to use my heat tool to dry that. I'm putting the stencil right on top of the other paste, right? So I want it to be dry. So I'm just gonna do the exact same thing on this side, putting a nice thick layer inside the stencil and then recuperating everything that's sitting on top of the stencil and putting it back into my jar. It's so pretty, isn't it? So the fiber paste does dry pretty quick, but it does dry in peaks. And so I don't necessarily want those. I'm gonna put some waxes on top of this. So um, I'm just taking um, a, a sanding block and I'm sanding that down. I found that Tim Holtz word. I think it's gonna be perfect. So I'm just gonna wipe off all of the dust and then, you know, I'm gonna use my little cow vacuum to vacuum all that up. Mm -hmm. 
So I want to give this a little bit of shimmer. I have this amazing metallic paste. This is from Artsyville. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to lay the stencil right back on and I'm going to put this paste right over it. So the fiber paste is going to act as, you know, the thing that raised all of this up. And then I'm just layering that metallic paste on top to give it a little something. I don't want to give this color, right? Because I'm loving how this white is popping right off of this vibrant background. So I thought this metallic shimmer would just be absolutely beautiful. I'm applying it in the exact same way, thicker through the stencil, and then I actually do go back to recuperate whatever's sitting on top of the stencil, and I put it back in my jar. So I have this wax from Prima. It's a decor wax. It's called Rich Copper. Um, and I'm going to just start putting it around the edges with my finger. And so what I eventually decide here is that I want to bring this all throughout this whole piece because I'm loving how this copper is kind of darkening the little bits of wood that are still showing through. And then I really love the idea of adding some value into these flowers. And so I kind of go crazy and I grab a big flat brush. And so I'm just going to take the copper wax and I'm gonna move it throughout this whole piece. One great way that you can kind of soften up your wax is by using a clear furniture wax on top. So I wasn't loving like really how dark and stark that was looking. So I'm just grabbing a clear wax and I'm really, really working it throughout the piece. So that's moving the copper, it's toning it down a little bit and it's really helping sort of press it down into the wood and the um, paint that's on top. And so you end up getting a really, really pretty blend and a pretty look.
I'm going to add one more layer of this metallic paste on top because I want to make them pop, right? I love how that copper kind of darkened them up a little bit. So I'm taking the metallic paste and I'm just putting it through in a few little areas, you know, letting some of that copper show through so that I actually have a little bit of dimension on these flowers. So the very last thing I do is take my YooHoo glue stick and I am just gluing on this Tim Holtz um, flashcard, I guess it's called, and I think it's perfect. I decided I wanted to add a little bit of the copper and a little bit of the metallic paste, so I just put that on with my finger and um, I think it turned out just so pretty. I hope this inspires you to create something beautiful with Stencil Girl stencils. Now I have to figure out what I'm going to put inside of this.